Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me this, and I don't know if it's a just a bad copy or this is the effect they want. But I came up with this in just a few little easy steps, and there's a lot you could do with this, but it's pretty close. They actually told me the font, which was helpful. I don't think I've got the exact font because the fact that it's a... Uh, the A is a little bit different, but that's the only font I have. And just for the person I'm doing it from for, you said that font was in uh, Corel X8. Well, your fonts aren't actually in Corel. They're in Windows. So whatever version of Windows you have is where going to be most of your fonts are. So what we need to do, and if you look, a couple of the things, the O and the F are smaller, and then the O and the S are larger. And that's very easily done. But what we're going to do first is left click, right click to uh, give us an outline. And then we can zoom in here and take the text tool and just highlight the of. And let's make it 150 points. You can see it made it smaller. Let's highlight the O for Oklahoma and put 200 points. Maybe we could actually make it a little bit bigger. You can do whatever you feel is, let's see what 225 looks like. Or There we go, let's make it 225. That's just a preference. Um, anyway, there we go. Now, while it is still a text, and all I did was take an arch you kind of mimic that arch and just get your new wordage and <clears throat> go to text, fit text to path and put it on your new path. And when you see that red line, it means that it's in the center. And then select everything, your path and your wordage and go to object and break text apart or control K, and then you could get rid of this box. Now they said they were trying to use the extrude tool and the shadow tool, but really we can just use the extrude tool. I'm pretty sure. I did make the line a little thicker. So let's make it maybe not quite as thick. You can change the thickness of the line. Let's make it you know, like I always said, if you can't, if it's not listed in there, you can always make it, just type in the number. Let's get the extrude tool and just try to extrude it just ever so. Well, what we need to do is go ahead and fill that in with a gray and get the extrude tool back and try to extrude it downward. Let's back up here. It's actually probably too much. And, and that's just personal preference, how you can look at it. Now what I'd like to do is go up to object and break the extrude apart. Because then I can move the extrusion. I'm going to set my nudge factor on something. Let's see how big this thing is. Six inches. Let's make, the, let's make it just six inches and take the extrusion and move it away, and then take away the outline by right-clicking. Now we just have an extrusion. And you could make it a little darker or whatever you want to do. And then just move your extrusion back up. Now, in the, in the real one, I mean, this almost looks like a pipe set and off of a uh, uh, money. So let's bring in a yellow box or a, this time a brown box and let's grab our text and you can see it right there and let's make the outline white. And from there you just play around. You know, you could uh, make the inside a little bit darker. Uh, you know, again, you can make grab the extrusion Let's see if we can move it down and 
you could make it quite a bit darker and move it back up. Unless you need this uh, pixelized surface, I believe this is what you're wanting to do. I just noticed that now the insides of the letter are like that also, but I think that's just the way it's the graphic. And, and that could, and it, they'll let me know and hopefully I could hopefully figure that out too. And you could always, you know, if you click on the text right there, it says state of Texas or state of Oklahoma. You could grab that right there and put an outline around it too. And actually take your pen tool and make it a little bit thicker to whatever you want. Give it a little bit more depth. Anyway, I hope that answered your question and was helpful. Thank you for watching.